What it do, man? Be why through the hallway. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Life made a fire back at it again, man. I really just want the net. Boss talk of business, man. Y'all make sure y'all like these videos, share these videos. Don't skip no ads. Well, I guess it's one of them type of nights, man. Because you know I've been going at it with these videos, right? So I want to bring y'all a two-parter in this video. We're going to be talking about... <clears throat> Miss it, not miss him. I don't know why I said that dude's name. We're gonna be talking about JT the bigger figure and Curtis Snow. And we also gonna be talking about Young Jock. Man, I had a brain fart for a minute, y'all. I forgot everything. <laughs> but yeah, man, let's get to Young Jock first. So, Young Jock. I mean, when he came out with New Jock City. This CD was jamming to me, man. And can't nobody say it wasn't. It was bumping, man. Had a lot of hits on it. And then, after that, you know, he kind of faded to the background. Didn't nobody hear him from Young Jock. He came out with some more music, but you know, he wasn't making just a big noise like he did before. Pop up on Love and Hip Hop. And then, lo and behold, man, you see him in the videos here recently. I couldn't find the video. Him driving the Uber car. And then you got the girl that sound like a dude asking him why he driving the Uber and all that, right? First thing first, you know, it's the, it's the real world. You know, everybody got to make money. But I don't know what happened in Jock case, you know, because like I said, he was on. But I'm going to say this about young Jock. He went from this, you know, the thug die image, doing his thing. Riding clean cars, you know, that's how you ever seen in the video. That's what I remember from, you know, in the video. Mostly, y'all always had a clean car with some big rims, candy paint, all that. Stunning, you know, hood type shit. I try to keep my cursing down, limited on these videos now. But then he just switched to this. This man look like he finna just bust out any minute and be like, Man, nobody paid no ticket to see you, Otis. Eddie Kane Jr. This man just went and got a whole fried diet laced to the side. This man looking like Malcolm X, you know, in the movie when he first got the comb. Man, what? <laughs> what going on, man? I know he go to sleep with rollers. With rollers and a haircut. The whole thing, man. Come on, bro. It's like he just lost his mind, man. Got them loving hip-hop chicks, man. Lost his mind now he in the Uber. But let me say this in Young Jock Defense, then we're going to go out this, video, out this part right here. I don't think that was real. I think that was like a skit or something, but I'm not for sure. But I believe it was a skit. But either way, Jock get together, man. Stop wearing your hair like that, bro. And now we're going to get on to a little bit more serious topic, man. We're going to be talking about Curtis Snow and JT the Bigger Figure. Now, I came up... Off rap music, man, that's that's why I started this channel, because of my love for music. People say I don't talk about people in the South enough, enough, but I do. I really do. But I just don't focus in the South, because I got a lot of love for other regions. And I got a whole lot of love for the West Coast, because that was... This. Okay, down here in the South, they weren't really playing South on the radio when I was growing up. So they mostly playing East Coast music. But then we started getting tapes, and I could hear a lot of West Coast music then. And then we started getting the South tapes, you know, Triple Six and Play a Fly Underground tapes and all that. So, you know, that's that's a little history on my music. But anyway, I came up off JT the Bigger Figure because I used to hear him back in the day with Game. Even though I know he was out before then, but I'm just saying that's how, that's how I caught on to him. So, <clears throat> Curtis Snow... You know, he had the Snow in the Bluff movie. You know, that's a hood classic. You know, everybody's seen that. But either way, though, JT, he got a YouTube channel, man. I, forget, I think called Trap Felicia. Y'all can go check it out. And he was saying something about Curtis Snow interview that he did with Beehive, I believe. You know, shout out to Beehive. Shout out to Atlanta. I, I, can't, I think it's 107.9, I think. But either way... Okay, so Curtis Snow, he got on there and he was talking. He was talking a lot about, you know, the dealings that he had with Snoop Dogg going out to Cali and 
you know, Snoop gave him like 30 racks and, you know, he was trying to keep up with them, you know, just not to look broke or whatever. And now I'm not talking no junk. Now I'm just saying what he was saying in the interview. So he went on to talk about JT a little bit and not to say too much. This is how he did in the interview anyway. He said something to where JT is still folks out of money and he ended up getting hit the way he did, which I'm going to pop that picture up. Because JT, he did get, <clears throat> he got hit. I want to say it was a little AK. I don't know how many times, but he survived it. And JT went on, I want to say the next day, and he made a YouTube video. And he was talking about things that had happened with him and how Atlanta turned him to a savage. And he was just saying a lot of things, man about things that were happening in the street that he had done, that he had been involved with, and, you know, Curtis and him going back and forth, calling each other dope heads and all that. But what I'm here to say on this video is, what I really got out of all of it, is that y'all were close. Say what you want about each other, but y'all had a, a genuine relationship with each other. Now, y'all probably didn't like how each other, each other ways and how it turned out, or how that person ended up being, but y'all had a relationship, meaning that the things that being said on the on the net, when it comes out that violence, y'all should just let that go. Because everybody is in the opportunity to get money, you know, Snow, he doing these interviews, I'm pretty sure people still want to work with him. JT, he do a lot of humanitarian work, you know, he do a lot of work in the hoods and give back. You know, so he has income coming in, you know, a business-minded dude. So, I'm going to say to y'all, two, two black men, don't don't throw it away trying to prove a point to anybody that be in y'all comments talking about, man, forget this dude, forget that dude, man. I know blood been shed, but no life has been lost from what I heard in y'all interviews or whatever. So, man, let that ride. For real, let that ride. <clears throat> it's hard to say that, but, you know, you're making money. If you're blessed to wake up and, and breathe and see another day, be with your kids and all that, man. Hey, stay blessed, bro. That's how I look at life now. People be making me mad on the daily when I be trying to be cool, but, hey, I can't, I can't, I can't let that interfere with my day. You feel me? Because... JT, he was saying a lot of stuff on the video, how he was a Muslim or whatever, and the teachings that he believed in. I agree with all that, man, but at the same time, you got to know when to let go on both ends. Because both both men were saying a lot of stuff, but I'm just saying, you know, just know when to let go. Because don't nobody want to be in no cell. Nobody. I don't care how, how hood nobody is. Nobody wants to be in no cell. Be right through the hallway, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. I'm going to hit y'all another video real soon, man. Until then, me and hold up for you. Do what you're supposed to know what you want to do. I'm out.